Award-winning South African short film My Father the Mover is set to get even more global exposure. It's been acquired by MTV Documentary Films for international release. The movie set in Kailicha tells the story of a dancer who inspires other young people in the area to find their purpose. Julia Jansch, the film's writer, director and producer, joins me now from Johannesburg. Julia, are you in Johannesburg or are you in Cape Town? I'm in Cape Town. Cape Town. It's so good to speak to you. Um, what inspired you to tell this story specifically? I think that um, I would say, uh, first of all, Stone inspired me to tell this story. When I met him, I was very blown away by his work. I think he's a miracle worker. And um, what he was doing in his community through Gom Dance, I thought that it was quite, quite novel, but mainly quite universal. Um, I find his methodology a methodology of freedom, and I knew it would resonate around the world. Um, and so I decided to, to tell my father the mover. Well, let's uh, show our viewers what we're talking about so that they can have an idea of the context of this powerful story. Most of the time, guys, Tina suffocating. So in this case, you know. Okay, in order for us to be to be great, to be amazing, we need to think out of the box. Julia, Alata, Stone's daughter, evokes such powerful emotions. Isolation, desolation, desperate yearning for more. Was that your universal connect? I think the universal connect is his methodology on freedom. Uh, he has a tattoo on his arm, and it's of a puppet whose strings have been severed with a pair of scissors. And he uses that to remind himself uh, daily how he never has to be chained by anything and that he can always be free of anything that might hold him back. Um, and I think that while, you know, you would think that a small community in Kailicha is held back by their own circumstances, um, there is a, you know, it, it's in man's DNA to be chained by things, you know, relationships, their environment, people can chain themselves. Um, Stone says everybody can have freedom, it just depends on whether you want to be free or not. Um, and that for me struck the universal chord. What was it like filming with him in his home, in his classes? And that must have been a very intimate setting. It was very intimate and, you know, when you, when you are a documentarian and you're telling somebody else's story, um, I find that it comes with a lot of responsibility because there's a level of authenticity that you need to uphold. Um, so we went into Stone's home and his community and his dance classes with a very intimate film crew. It was myself, my, my associate co-producer, Mandy, um, and the DP, Ross Hillier, and the sound, uh, Chris Myberg on sound. And being such a small team enabled us to be not only nimble and to really immerse ourselves in, 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 and move with him, to use the term movement, um, but also to, to, to capture real moments. Um, and, yeah, I think that um, Stone was so eager to tell his story and so eager to share what he's doing, his miracle work with the world, that um, he was so open. And, 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 yeah, it was a wonderful collaboration. So the film has made big waves at a number of international and local film festivals. And, as we said in the intro, it's been picked up by MTV. Where to next? Well, we've just been nominated for a Critics' Choice Award, which um, is extremely exciting. Uh, so we'll find out the results um, next week, I think it is. Um, and who knows what's going to happen next. I'm constantly surprised by this film. Um, so we'll have to just watch the space.
Well, congratulations. We'll have to speak to you again once you win that Critics' Choice Award. In the meantime, very quickly before we let you go, where can South Africans see My Father the Mover? Um, it's soon going to be released by MTV. Uh, so I actually, when you do an acquisition, you hand over the reins. Um, so I will let you know when I know, when they tell me, but the ball's in their court for now. Fantastic. Thanks very much for speaking to us. That was Julia Yunch, writer, director and producer of the short film My Father the Mover. Definitely watch this space.